Hello, and welcome to the College of St. Scholastica CIS 4115 Artificial Intelligence class. My name is Tom Gibbons, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the course. I've logged into Blackboard and into this course, uh, and I'm going to go under Getting Started. Um, quick introduction to myself. I'm the designer for this course. Uh, I've got been working in artificial intelligence for many years, probably 20 years. Uh, I've got a PhD in artificial intelligence and I'm chair of the computer department at the College of St. Scholastica. Uh, I'll be developing this course and talking to you on many of these videos. You'll also likely have an instructor uh, for this course who will guide you through the day-to-day -day activities of the course. When you go under instructor information, you should see uh, details for the instructor who is actually running the day-to-day -day course you are in. Let's look at the syllabus for this course. Uh, just highlight a couple key components. Um, one of the prerequisites for this course is uh, Java 2 programming, CIS 2087. We will be doing some Java programming in this course, uh, in fact, a fair amount. And so it is uh, good that you have some experience in that. There is no math courses required, and we'll get to that in just a sec. This course is going to follow the general outline of a artificial intelligence course uh, developed by Stanford and caught online in the fall of 2011. We'll be using many of the resources from this free online course and following the same basic model. As you will see in a bit, we'll be linking to those videos. Uh, there is no textbook required for this course. Uh, the Stanford AI course uses a uh, standard textbook uh, by Russell and Norvig artificial intelligence a modern approach the current edition is a third edition it's available for about a hundred dollars online um, the second edition is actually a good edition also and not there wasn't a whole lot of updates between the second and third edition other than reordering the uh, what order the chapters were in uh, and this is often uh, available for ten or fifteen dollars uh, again, this is not required, but if you are interested in a textbook, that would be one to look at. Uh, it tends to be very mathematical, so if you do not have a strong math background, this might not be that helpful to you, and that is why we do not require it as a required textbook. Um, We'll list the assessment activities that you'll be required to do and expectations in the syllabus. Make sure you review those as, long, as well as the course policies as far as late homework um, and class participation here. Um, it also lists the general time frame of the course and each unit that we'll be going through. Um, we will have some variability in here. The Stanford AI course requires a fair amount of math, um, calculus, multivariable calculus, linear algebra, and statistics generally. Um, so at times when there is a fair amount of math, we'll give you two options. A math track where you can continue to go through the Stanford model and look at the mathematical aspects of that at artificial intelligence and a non-math track where we'll bring in some additional resources that do not require as much math and bring in some additional descriptions or explanations so you can understand key concepts without uh, the mathematical equations that's used in some of the Stanford model. Um, so some of this, um, this will be the basic t um, timeline for the course, but there will be some choices as you go through the uh, course. Um, the layout is standard for St. Scholastica. We are getting started area, and every week you should be going to learning activities and clicking on the current unit. Um, we'll have the general idea of the unit along with a checklist of how we're going to look at um, for this first week, two key components is introduce, introduce you to the Stanford AI class. Here you can click uh, as a visitor and go into the class. This is the interface. These are the units. And this first week we'll have to look at unit one here and watch the videos of these units. Um, there are, if you watch it in this mode, there will be places where there will be um, questions as part of the videos. Uh, let me fast forward here. 
So again, he's asking you another question here. And you can actually click on these different answers and see if you uh, get the answer correct or not. It'll tell you correct or incorrect. Um, sometimes people have trouble with the login here, so you can also watch these you, uh, videos directly on YouTube, and we'll provide links in the chapters for those. We will be doing some Java programming, and this first week we'll want you to work on assignment one, uh, which is to program a simple virtual dog. Um, I suggest you use the Eclipse uh, IDE uh, development environment uh, for Java. You can use a different one, but um, it's fine. Our instructions are generally for Eclipse, uh, but you can work with any sort of environment that you uh, like to jo uh, program Java with. So that's a basic introduction to this course. Um, make sure again you visit Unit 1, look through the checklist, and start watching the required videos and working on the first assignment and class participation for this week. Hope you enjoy the class. It's an exciting field and this is an exciting course. I hope you enjoy it.